everybody and welcome back to Alex Elliott Golf. This is number three of a four part series to take your game onto the golf course. And this week it's all about chipping. So we've spoke about previously the iron game, the driver game, and now this is game three to give you an all round picture. We're talking about chipping. Now, very often when I'm coaching, everybody wants to learn how to hit that really high lob shot every single time. When really, we probably only hit that within a year, probably six or seven times. And are we expected to get it up and down every time? Probably not. So this game really targets you on those simple chip shots. And if you can do those simple things well, we can really see our up and down percentage increase. So this game runs through lob wedge shots, but mainly concentrating on the chip and runs in 9-iron, 7-iron, and pitch and wedge. So this series is all about testing yourself under pressure on the practice ground. And this chipping game is exactly the same. It's really simple, it works. We're gonna hit 158 or lob wedge. We're gonna hit three sand wedge shots, three seven iron shots, and two nine iron shots. So we've got different shots, different lengths, and it all targets in different areas of your chipping game to really give you an overall reflection of where your chipping game's at. Now, all we wanna do, we wanna count the footage of every single chip shot we have. So Say for example, we hit it to three feet two times, that adds up to six, then we hit another three feet, then nine feet. We're gonna add up our total footage at the end. That total footage, like we've done before, we're gonna record it on our phone. We're gonna see now we've got our iron score, we've got our driver score, and we've got our chipping score. So each time we come down and practice on the driving range or the chipping area, we've got some really good concentrated practice that is gonna smartly test you under pressure. So. I know if people haven't watched this video before or watched the other two that go before this one, this video is done in the last 10 minutes of your practice. So we're gonna think of something technically. So me at the moment in my chipping, I'm really concentrating on keeping centered and keeping my weight feeling like it's favoring my left side. So I practice for 20 minutes hitting different shots, feeling that technical aspect of the golf game. Then for the last 10 minutes, so it's just 30 minutes practice, I'm gonna test myself in this game we're about to do now. So you can see I've gone from that transition of just thinking technically, not really focusing on the outcome, to now really thinking that, right, it's an outcome orientated game. So what footage can I get? Can I beat my last score? What's my benchmark? And can I see that score tumble and then my scores tumble out on the driving range? Let's get into the thick of this game. It's 10 minutes, see that score tumble. So first off, we're gonna hit those three Sam Wedge shots. So going through that technical aspect, you're thinking, Right, got my thinking now. I'm gonna go through my full routine within this game and emulate those conditions out on the golf course. So you can see there, I've hit my three chip shots in my sand iron. Average roughly about three feet, so I've got nine feet for my first three chips. Now let's go on to the lob wedge shot, then three seven irons and two nine irons. So you can really see it's a very simple game. All I've got to do is hit nine shots to give me a footage that I'm going to try and beat every single time I come out on the golf course. Let's go on to the lob shot. So now I've got my one shot with lob wedge. Now it doesn't have to be the lob shot, but it's just using that club. And you've got to pick the scenario and keep testing yourself. All it is is about using different areas of the chipping area or on the golf course and really testing every area of your short game under pressure when there's an outcome involved. So our outcome now is our total footage. But onto the fourth shot. Through your full routine. That's gone a little bit far past there. We'll go and add that footage up. I think it's roughly from here when we go and pace in a second. It's about eight feet. So I've got three, six, nine feet for my first three, plus another eight feet. We're on 17 feet total for four chips. We've now got five more shots to go to test our whole area of our game. So, so far we've had four chips and we've got a total of 17 feet. Now we've got the three chip and runs with the seven iron. So you can see we've tested one club, we test our sand wedge, test our 58 or our lob wedge and now we're on to our chip run with the 7 iron and this is the shot that I think is really overlooked with a lot of amateur golfers they really try and land the ball next to the hole every single time and really 
could almost get this ball rolling like a puck very quickly. I don't know, Sevi said something very simple. All you've got to do is get this ball over the barrier and the barrier being the fringe. Get the ball rolling as soon as possible. Really simple. Now, just want to say before we carry on the rest of this game, and this game is really good because I can, I've done this myself and I can tell a lot of people at home will do this. How many times have you practiced any part of your game? You've hit a shot, you've grabbed them the ball. You've hit a shot, you've grabbed them the ball. There's no meaning to any of the shots. Whereas now, our outcome and our goal is getting the lowest footage possible. We're on 17 at the moment, three chips with seven iron to go, and then two chips with nine iron. Going through my full routine, picturing the shot. A little bit short that one, we've got two feet and four feet so far. Two plus three, that's five, plus another four, that's nine feet. So nine onto our 17 feet that we had before. We're on a total of 26 feet now. So we're now on the last phase of this game. We've hit three shots of sandwich. We've hit one lob shot because we like we said at the start, we don't really want to concentrate our time on a shot we don't play a lot. Then we've hit three seven irons and now we're on to two nine iron chip and runs. So really targeting those shots that are really overlooked by a lot of people and gonna give us the best results and really start to see our short game sharpen up. If we can do the simple things well, then we can see our scores tumble. So we're on 26 feet total so far, two chips to go. What's gonna be my benchmark? I'm gonna record in my phone for this area of our practice. So three feet, that's 29, and this is the last chip. So another three feet, so that's 32 feet total for my nine chips I had there. Now, that's my benchmark. It doesn't matter what level you're at, this game is perfect for you. Whether you're a beginner, trying to get out on the golf course and really sharpen your skills, or if you're an advanced player trying to prepare for a tournament. This gives you some real focused time for 10 minutes that really prepares you for out on the golf course. It's very, very simple to do. Record your scores and be honest with yourself. If it's three feet, write three feet. If it's four feet, write four feet. If you cheat your scores, you're only cheating your own game. And if you're honest with your game and honest with yourself, you can see what areas need more work. Because straight away now, so far in this series, we've got our iron scores, our driver scores, and our chipping scores now. And we'll start to see a correlation to which is your strongest area of your game and which needs a little bit more work. And this is really good. Rather than thinking, right, oh, don't know what game works good, I've hit chip well today, I drove well today. You can actually get some really straight away good feedback out on the chipping area that's gonna tell you what area of your game you need to work on and ultimately prepare you for tournament conditions. Thank you for watching today's video on Alex Elliott Golf. You've now got the third part of this four part series. You've got the irons, the driver, and now the chipping area. I promise you, if you see your scores tumble on the games on the practice area, you'll see them fall out on the golf course. And it really does prepare you for a round of golf. Thank you for watching. And what I'll do, I'll leave the description down below the order of the shots. So we're gonna hit three with sand wedge, one with lob wedge, three with seven iron, and two with nine iron. And test yourself in different areas every single time you do the test. Like we know, there's never two shots the same. So if we can test all our area of our game, then we're gonna get an all round reflection of how we are at that point in time. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you next time on Alex Elliott Golf.